Yeah. What's going on, guys? So, uh, you know, I might as well start because I got to get out for my son's baseball game here very shortly. He's got his last tournament game today. So I'll kind of go through what happened today because it kind of threw me for a curveball. So if you guys know about COVID-19, you guys have heard of COVID-19 quite a bit, right, in this last year, year and a half. And at that point, how serious it is. Well, you know, I've had my mixed emotions about COVID, which I did with, you know, having to go through the ICU and being very sick, still being a long hauler and having some of these neurological effects that are still, you know, affecting her to this day. You know, I've known other people around me, you know, like my accountant, his wife had to relearn how to walk. I've had other people in the hospital that, you know, pretty bad off, you know. I, you know, I've heard of a couple of people dying, you know, that I knew, but, you know, nothing very close to me. So, um, vertical tight, and I'll answer your question in one second, okay? So, at that point today, you know, I had to, uh, I got the call this morning that my cousin was uh, put on a ventilator, basically going to get taken off a of ventilator today. He was in septic shock last night. And his health deteriorated from Monday, and he's dead now. So I literally just came from the hospital and all the family was there. I wanted to say our goodbyes. Got to say goodbye to him. I was born like a baby. I ain't going to lie. I'm real close to him. I was his godfather to his son, which basically at this point I'm going to start taking care of, man. And uh, it's, it's, it sucks. So, you know, I know people out there think that COVID's not real and stuff like that. And I listen, when I had COVID, I was totally asymptomatic. So if I didn't have Sharice around me, I probably would have thought it was bullshit too. But at this point, like, it's still serious. People are still dying from this shit. Uh, and it's garbage. And my cousin, man, right when he got in, they gave him a desivir, possible in a plasma. I mean, he had everything, everything. And uh, he still didn't make it. And he didn't have any, like, the debilitating health or, you know, issues or any, any high-risk categories. Hard-ass working Greek, bridge painter good to his family and gone like that too soon man 50 something years old dude it's just crazy so you know this is just a wake-up call that i want to let all you guys know about because for me you know dealing with some of the things that i've dealt with in my life and having losing people that are close to me it makes you realize you know you're gone right you're here today and gone tomorrow you never know when somebody's going to be gone. So, you know, treat people respectively like that. You know, make sure you're spending time to your family, your loved ones. Tell them you love them. It's crazy. So, at that point, you know, I want you guys just to, just to make sure, man, you reach out to your family, tell them you love them, you know, and uh, spend that time with them, quality time. So, I appreciate, you know, everything on here. So, thank you, guys. Um, I just want to get that out of the way because, listen, I'm not getting the vaccine because I would have got over COVID, but I, I would not tell anybody else not to get the vaccine. If you think you're high risk, you think your family member is high risk, you know, let them make that choice. Don't defer them or, or detour them. You know, you can have your opinion about the things like I do, but at that point, just make sure you're worried about their health. It is what it is. You don't want to lose somebody to this shit. Anyway, so I'm going to get on with, uh, with Titan Talk. And start going into some of these awesome topics I got for you guys. I had a hell of a show for you guys today. I started up. And, you know, just like I said, this is a, it was a total curveball. You know, yesterday, he, he was in the hospital. All right, fine. He was progressing. And then I got the call last night, you know, he's septic. And, like I said, today I was into, going on into work. And at that point, I got the call, hey, we're going to read him, read him his last rites. I'm in my Lamborghini, guys, and I'm going about 110 there. So, uh, you know, it's just crazy. Anyway, so let's get on with the show, guys. Thank you guys for all tuning in. The Jack Cookie Monster. All right, so Vertical Titan, I'm going to answer your question in one second. Eric Code, um, Jack Cookie Monster, I, I'll answer your question too as well. Let's get down to these questions real quick, and then we'll get to the topics. All right, so Vertical Titan 187 says, was wondering what stats you had for fat burning. I can message you later uh, when you're free. All right, so Vertical Titan, good question. We've got a lot of different options for fat burning, guys. So from our ECA Stack Plus, which I highly recommend, give you energy focus, will help with the fat burning effect. Lipolysis, all right? That means, you know, getting eradicating fat and burning fat by getting it down. That's a great one. AOD 9604, advanced obesity drug. 
This one's great. It, it basically, they isolated the sequence of growth hormone just for the weight loss portion. So you're not going to get any of the negative side effects from this one. It's an awesome peptide, great for weight loss. Another one, Titan Complete goes right along with ECA Stack Plus. If I had to say between the two, obviously ECA Stack Plus is going to be more effective out of Titan Complete ECAs, but they work synergetically, synergistically together. So at that point, they will work really, really good if you use them together. So that that's a that's a good double team. Even with AOD, usually if you tag. ECA stack plus and with another therapy like that, you're going to usually get expedited results. Um, some other ones that you guys might be interested in. So at that point, we have our Titan Up, which is a, like a, a first version of Titan Complete. It doesn't have all the ingredients of Titan Complete, but it has a majority of them. Um, there's other ones too as well. So all these medications, which they are, they're all medications that are prescribed in your name from a licensed physician uh, or medical provider. You know, at this point, we have to get some medical information from you, some family history, health history, to make sure that, you know, these are going to be good options for you that are healthy and not mess you up. Um, you know, Prometheus, that's another great weight loss medication option that we have. You know, and that has Wellbutrin, has Metformin, it has B12. So it cuts sugar cravings, helps mood enhancement. Um, it's also going to help digestive and get rid of sugar out of the body uh, and sugar stores is fat. So at that point, it will help. And a lot of people that you know use that therapy, they get tremendous results too as well. So it's really depending on the person. And that's where we customize these regimens for the patient. So it's not cookie cutter. It'd be really easy to say, oh yeah, you get this, you get this, you get this. No, that's not how it works. Everybody's different to a certain extent. Um, some things work better for other people. And, you know, sometimes, you know, you have health things that will not let you get some of these therapies because they could damage your health in the long run. And we're not here for that. The whole point is to get you guys healthy, long lasting results. OK, that's what we're here to do. That's what we're going to do. All right. So and listen, if you guys have any questions, concerns or you guys want to know more information that I don't cover on here. Just call or text us 727-389-3220. We service nationwide with all our services. So if you guys want blood work, hormone replacement therapy, medical weight loss options, peptides, whether healing peptides or weight loss peptides, injectable vitamin amino acid blends that only Titan Medical Center has for our patients, our signature blends, like Hercules Potion or Titan Complete or Titan Up or Titan Ultra. Um, you know, we also have other things like libido enhancers for both males and females. And that doesn't mean that you guys need it. OK, this is something to enhance it or make it better. And you don't have to use it all the time if that's what you're interested in. Um, you know, even for females, it's hard for females to orgasm in a lot of circumstances. I mean, it's a high percentage if you really look at the statistics of it. So, you know, if you want to pleasure your partner or you just want to knock it out of the park one night, you know, it's the way to go, males and females. Um, you know, other things we offer, if you're in the area, we offer IV therapy. We can customize those bags too as well. Uh, we offer a number of other services, guys. So if you guys are interested or want to know more about any of those other things I listed, just call or text us. Or you can answer. You can ask me on here, and I'll, I'll answer some. Uh, all right, so I am Chef Taro is in the house. Dude, so Chef Taro is the main man at Eddie B's. He's, you know, the exec he's the man. He's the big chef. He's the man. So this guy always hooks it up. Great guy, and man, he can cook a hell of a dish. So if you guys are in town in Tampa, go check out Eddie B's. All right, if Jack Cookie Monster said, if I get blood work done from a different company to see if I need HRT, am I able to send it over to Titan Medical to get your input? Yes, of course, Jack Cookie Monster, for sure. And here's the question I'm going to ask you. Why would you want to get your blood work done from somewhere else when Titan Medical Center has the most inexpensive blood work in the country? So, yeah, right? You're going to pay more for somewhere to send me the results. That doesn't make sense. So, uh, you know, at that point, we can help you out at all ends. And you don't have to get medication or anything. Like, you don't have to be a patient, like a current patient a blood work. If you want to know where your levels are at, you just want results, we can do that too. So, and we can do full tests or full panels. Um, we can do, you know, amino blood testing. So we can test what amino acids or, you know, percent in your blood. So at that point, you know if your supplements are working or whatever it is. Um, you can also test food and allergy testing through blood work, through LabCorp. So 
at that point you can know, hey, listen, your diet's on point. Nothing's messing with, you know, your stomach or bloating or anything like that. And everything's working like it should. Also, STD testing. That's another big one out there. Some people are feeling frisky. But, you know, it's a fix out there, you know, especially if you guys aren't wrapping it up. Um, at that point, there's a risk for sure. So at that point, if you guys have any questions or concerns about that, we're here to help you guys. Okay. And I appreciate all you guys, you know, thank you for, thank you for, I'm sorry for my loss. I appreciate it. I really appreciate you guys. I just, I just want to be real with you guys, man. Whatever I see in life, man, I, I try to be with you guys if I think it's important. And, you know, spend time with your loved ones, your partner, or your family, it, it definitely should be a number one priority. Holding out loud, what's going on? Liz Summer, Ellis Fit Life, what's going on? Uh, let's party Selena. Lenroy, TNT, that's my dude out there. Boxer, pro boxer, killing it all the time, man. I've seen that video you did, too. It looks awesome, dude. Thank you. Fast RLCL. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Thank you, guys. Understood. I appreciate you for running down available products. Again, praying for you and your family. Thank you, Vertical Titan. I appreciate you. And, man, I'll hook you up. Just let me know what I can do. I didn't know how much it cost, and I just got blood work done. So that's fine. We can help you out if you got blood work done. That's not a problem. Now, you can only concern. If you want to do, like, one more replacement therapy, you just got to have all the tests that we run for that. That's the only thing. But listen, you have majority of the time, one or two, we can do that. We'll get you set up, man. We'll take care of you, okay? All right, so Mila Diablo Guapo, hi, how you doing? Buff Brian Bourne, how you doing? Dude, that, that's totally okay. I just wanted to let you know. So man, some people don't know, like, oh, I can do bubble with you guys too? Yes, definitely. I think it's the most inexpensive across the country because I legitimately want people to be healthy. And even if they don't want to use Titan or, you know, don't think they need the therapies or whatever it is, at least they have their blood work and they can make a decision about what they want to do going forth or see where they're at. And I've helped a lot of patients, man, and we have, um, you know, uncover some things like prostate cancer. You know, we do a PSA blood blood test in there. So at that point, if that comes back, you know, high, there's a couple things. It doesn't mean that you have prostate cancer. It means your prostate is usually large or, you know, you have an infection with prostate, something's going on. But you can be made aware right away. Like, hey, listen, I need to go get this checked out. So I appreciate it. Thank you, Mila Diablo Guapo. I appreciate it. I try to be with you guys, man. It's awesome. I have a passion for what I do. I have a passion for helping people. Nine and a half years, and I've been doing this show, I don't know, for a couple of years now. I'll never miss a beat. And I don't care where I'm at, what I'm doing. If I got internet access or data, I'm definitely getting on with you guys. I don't care where I'm at. There's usually that around me, no matter if I'm on vacation or I come out here and I'm literally out, out in the field waiting, you know, to go watch my son and, and coming from the hospital, you know, with my cousin. So at that point, I appreciate it. All right. So, yeah, I want, I want, I got extra blood work done. So yeah, I already did. Yeah. So you already have hyperthyroidism, take medication, but I still feel like crap. Yeah. So the thyroid's a tricky thing. You want to make sure that thing is balanced and you're not taking too much thyroid medication. Um, at that point, that could, that could be an, a harmful issue too. And, and thyroid affects a lot of different things in the body, guys. So it's not just testosterone or even just estrogen. Dude, there's a lot of other hormones in the body, you know, that people don't talk about. And you got to make sure that everything's working in harmonic balance. That's key, guys. Because if it's not, something's off, right? And it might not hurt you today, but later on down the road, it, it could cause some, some other health issues or problems for you guys. You just got to make sure everything's dialed in the way, okay? And optimal. What up, big Irishman? My dude, man, I appreciate you as always. Uh, Dwayne Day, the penalty you give John for blood work is like a six hundred dollar. Oh, yeah, so it literally is for the hundred fifty bucks. Even if you went to LabCorp, Dwayne, that panel should be like twelve hundred bucks. Yeah, I just priced it the other day. It's crazy. Um, you know, some people they go in and listen with us. You don't have to have insurance. We don't take insurance. You don't ever show the insurance card at LabCorp, but some people they do, right? And then like we have to, you know. We basically take care of it on our end as far as getting with LabCorp, making sure your insurance company doesn't get charged. But we see the bill. And the bill is like 12, 1200 to 1500 depending on what test you're getting. So it's just crazy. It's just nuts. Um, just nuts. So, all right. So let's get down to the first topic of the day. CJC 1295 with Imperolin. So this is the therapy of the week, guys. It's a very, very popular therapy. And let me tell you why. So a lot of people, you know, they're looking, oh, I want to get growth hormone. I want anti 
negative effects. I want better skin elasticity, libido, better mood. You know, I just want, I want a better overall quality of life. So they always think that, you know, growth hormone, because there's a lot of commercials out there that they're like, oh, growth hormone this, growth hormone that. When over-the-counter supplement, that's not really growth hormone. It's just an amino acid sequence that they're putting in. They're calling it that as a, a marketing campaign. So you guys got to be aware that these things are not out there over the counter. But the big thing is, as we get older, our IGF-1 levels and natural growth hormone starts to decline. With this and all other hormones, what happens is, is we start to deteriorate. Think of a flower, man. You know, you were all just these beautiful, delicate flowers, right? I'm not no flower, but think of a plant. And it usually is a flower where they, they grow, they wither, and they die. That's the best example I can give you guys as far as the human body goes. We go, we grow, and uh, we get to a certain age point, and then everything starts to decline. You know, and you went to a normal general practitioner, you said, listen, my energy is low, my libido sucks, I feel like I'm in a dark place. They're like, oh, that's just you getting old, man. That's not a good answer. We can turn back the clock on some of these things, and especially with your own growth hormone. So let's get into the reason why CJC 1295 with Imperolin is a good choice. The reason is because CJC 1295 is a GHRH. It's a growth and releasing peptide, okay? It's a growth and releasing hormone peptide, GHRH. And at that point, what it does, it helps you stimulate your own natural growth hormone in your body. So you can produce your own natural growth hormone without injecting synthetic growth hormone, which is going to cost you an arm and a leg if it's real and prescribed. At that point, if you take it for too long, your body could possibly be, you know, getting suppressed by it. So that means you're suppressing your own natural levels, just like testosterone. If you don't need testosterone, I wouldn't recommend taking it. I know people want to get big and they want instant gratification, but the real harm comes with that. The reason is, is because they suppress their natural function, and then it hardly never comes back the way it should. Your body has to reboot. It has to try to adapt. And I don't care if you're taking a PCT, a post-cycle therapy, if you guys don't know what that is. At that point, really, I listen, I've seen thousands of blood tests. I love to look at blood tests with the providers and, and ask questions and see what's going on. And at that point, like, I'm telling you, man, I've never seen those. Uh, let me let me correct myself. I hardly ever see those levels come back the way they do. I have seen them in a small percentage. And by a small percentage, I'm talking about like 5%. It's really, really crazy the way it is. So at that point, just make sure you guys know what you're doing. Now, Imperellin, added on, on the back end of that, it's good because it's like a GHRP, right? A growth releasing peptide again. But with this, what it does is it actually helps with the pulse. So there's a pulse that goes and to stimulate. And just think of it. Just beep, 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 beep. That's what it does. And it shoots and it lets... Your pituitary bleed out the growth hormone, which then goes down into the liver. That's what your growth hormone does. goes down to the liver, and it converts. It converts into IGF-1, 2, and 3. The main one you should focus on out of those is IGF-1. That's why we run in our full panel, too, as well, because you can see a lot of different things with IGF-1 as far as a reading. And then at that point, listen, if it's low or deficient, people are usually lethargic. They're aging prematurely. That means fast. And at that point, they don't know why. Now, this could be a genetic thing, or this could be an issue as far as, you know, disruptors out there, like there's hormone disrupting chemicals out there and stuff like that. And at that point, you know, that could be causing damage. It could be toxins. It could be a lot of different things that cause the body to do this. So that's where you really get the benefit from. CAC-1295 is great as far as rejuvenation, repair. It's going to help you sleep better. It should. Um, and it should help in a number of those different areas as far as lean body mass, skin elasticity, hair. I mean, it, it's all in there. So, I mean, that's really what you guys want to look at. So, that's why CJC 1295 and Imperellin are a great choice as far as a therapy. Plus, with our combination, you're getting two peptides, CJC 1295 and Imperellin at the highest doses in the exact same vial. So you don't have to buy two different peptides. They're in there. They're going to work together synergistically to give you guys better results. So let's see what other questions we have here. So I got like two phones, guys. This is this is hilarious. Literally, I got, look at this. I got Art there. 
right? Doing doing Facebook and stuff. And then I've got you guys on Instagram. So I'm showing you guys around, seeing what, what it's all about here. Uh, <laughs> all right. So let, let's see what else is going on. Not your average member. What's going on? All right. So questions, questions, questions. All right. So anything for joint pain? Yes, of course. So BPC-157, TB-500, great for joint pain, great for inflammation in the body. I talk about these a lot. A lot of patients have benefited from these different healing peptides. You know, my favorite out of the two is BPC-157. If I had to pick one, um, it just helps me a lot better as far as that goes. TB-500 is an excellent healing peptide too as well. And they do work better if you use them together. But BPC-157 has definitely got me through a lot of different injuries, especially in the shoulder, golf elbow, tennis elbow, joint pain, especially for inflammation. Um, so that's what it's really, really good for. So if you're looking for something like that, that's definitely where it's at. Okay. All right. So let's talk about our next subject of the day. The next subject of the day was here in Florida, you know, Ron DeSantis, our governor, basically took away all the restrictions from the government, local governments, municipalities, whoever's trying to make these stupid rules up. And I don't think they're stupid because, listen, I just came from a guy that just got pulled off his damn ventilator because of COVID, man. He's a family member of mine. So I don't take it lightly. But I do think that if everybody's getting vaccinated or everybody's already had this damn disease, then I think at that point, I, I think we should be going back to normal to a certain extent, okay? For people that don't or uh, are scared and stuff like that, they should be able to wear the mask without people you know, ridiculing them. It's everybody's choice what they want to do, but I don't think anything should be forced on people. Now, with this, this doesn't mean that, you know, here in the state of Florida that, you know, all businesses have to adhere to the governor's saying. Personal businesses at that point can make their own rules. So a lot of these places are still going to keep the mask thing mandate in, uh, in effect. I know Disney is. I looked at AMC Movie Theater. And even on there, it's like, it doesn't matter what local government or state guidelines is. You're still going to wear, like, basically wear a mask here. Uh, it's just, you know, it's kind of crazy. But it is what it is. If you want to use the business, you got to uh, adhere by their rules to go along with that. So they also signed a bill into play here in Florida and a number of other states. And I'm glad about this. Um, not requiring vaccine passports in businesses and schools. You know, I don't, I don't think that that should be out there. Now, you know, COVID's a serious thing. And like I said, I know, I feel it's a very, very serious issue. And a lot of people have died from this shit. A lot of people are still hurting that are long haulers like Sharice and a number of other people out there. And you got people like me that it didn't affect at all. We're walking around and we're like, man, what the hell is going on? So with this, you know, a vaccine passport is basically saying that you've got vaccinated. Now, that's everybody's personal choice, I think. At that point, you know, your medical history, HIPAA, has went out the door. That's a federal law protecting your rights with your medical information. That thing has been broken, I don't know how many times, via news, via the governments, I mean, via the schools. They're not allowed to disclose this information like that. They're breaking HIPAA and they're just, oh, it's an emergency situation. I mean, you can call anything an emergency situation at that point. So it's just really, really crazy. Um, so that was the second point. Uh, I don't know if this is happening in your guys' state, city, or what's going on there. I know I, know I got people from all around the country that are on here. So I hope everything's going to go back to a, a certain normal to you guys. And I hope they aren't going to push this stuff on you too as well. All right. Um, I pulled my hamstring uh, last week, and it's pretty nasty. Wish I had TB500 and BPC together right now. Healing takes a long time without them. I feel you. Hey, don't worry, big Irishman. I'll make sure we take care of you in some way, shape, or form. All right, bro? I don't want to see you down and out. All right. So the next topic of the day. So when I started thinking about the different topics of the day, I, I just like to, you know, put things out there that are that are relevant and what's going on. So the other thing was, was, uh, you know, I, I had a couple. My next one was basically Caitlyn Jenner. So Caitlyn Jenner at this point, um, you know, what she did, you know, basically she's running for governor for Newsom. And, you know, this whole transgender thing has been going on as far as not wanting or not, not hoping, not tolerating um, boys that are transitioning into females play against other females if it's the other way around and it's a girl transforming into a boy go ahead and have at it but at that point when boys transform into girls 
and they want to play with girls, it's not fair. Um, you know, and I, I'm totally for whatever anybody wants to do. I listen, be as unique as possible, right? Don't ever, you know, put yourself in with a flock of sheep. Do what you think is right, do what you want to do. But at that point, you can't think that you're gonna just go in and, and do something that could affect other people. You could hurt other people, right? I mean, in some of these sports, it's pretty, you know, like when we're talking about track running and stuff like that, probably nobody's going to get hurt. But, you know, those girls that are participating in those sports and they're looking for scholarships or they want to do good, you know, it puts them at, you know, it puts them at a, at a loss pretty much because they can't keep up. You know, it's a proven fact at that point that boys have bigger lung capacity. And that's a fact. All right, and bone density. So at that point, they're at uh, they're at a loss. So good job for Caitlyn Jenner. And you got to remember, this guy has transitioned into a woman to Caitlyn Jenner, right? Um, so you know he's been there, he's done that. And as a boy, this guy was like, you know, he's an Olympic gold medalist, right? So I, I think he understands a little bit about both sides which is really, really good. I'm glad that, you know, he at least took a stance out there. I don't know if he's going to start pedaling back because of, you know, cancel culture and all this coming after him because I'm sure it's in the ranks. All right. The next one. Since, yeah. We're going to talk about the Apple Watch. I, ha- I actually had two more topics, but I'm going to talk about Apple Watch. So thank you. I appreciate it, Art. Um, Apple Watch. All right. So this is really cool, guys. Very, very cool. And I'd like to talk about health-related topics when we talk about titan talk titan lifestyle with drew we can talk about everything else but let's talk about some health things so apple they've always you know changed the game they've always been cutting edge um you know especially with with medical situations or evaluating things right so it's really really cool because what's going to happen very shortly is is apple is going to be able to test glucose blood levels alcohol blood levels right uh, and a number of different things. This is very cool. Un, non-invasive. So usually we have to get a glucose level on somebody. And people that are diabetic know this very well. They have to prick their finger. And at that point, they get a drop of blood. And that will tell them what their sugar glucose is at. That's, that means you know how much sugar is in your blood at that time. With this, it uses optical lasers to go through the skin. So they're already using it for like monitoring blood pressure and stuff like that. So if you have an Apple Watch, you know what I'm talking about. But this company that they're basically, they, they partner up with, it's done a majority of it. They've already got this technology. And they're saying that basically like this technology is going to be on the Apple Watches very, very shortly. This is a game changer, guys. A game changer. There are so many people out there that are going to benefit from this and not have to prick their finger. Just, just in diabetics alone. I mean, you know, the one, the good thing, I, I guess, on alcohol blood content is if somebody's out drinking, they can see where they're at and they better not drive if they're over that limit. Um, the only other thing I could think of that might be negative to that is if cops get a hold of that and you've been drinking and driving, your ass is screwed. That could be another thing that goes against you. So you shouldn't be drinking and driving anyway. But it will document it. So that is what it is. All right. So, um, all right, let's see what's going on let me answer these questions all right so new york is that worse i believe all squad all right jack cookie monster said i got a pretty sick a couple months ago and had covid man fever body aches and overall phlegmy uh i was coughing on mucus hella bad felt like my throat was closing but was couch was couching coughing stuff up yeah so i'm glad that you got over covid and you're healthy now man like i said when i had covid i was totally asymptomatic and wouldn't even known if Sharice didn't get sick the way she did. And it took, you know, it took her two swabs even to test positive at that point. And then afterwards, it really bad. Now, here's another funny thing about that. She still got the antibodies with my son almost a year later. I lost him in three months, but she still got them. So it's, it's really, really crazy. Yeah, Eric Code says, California pushes everything ridiculous. I, I have to agree with you there, man. All right, so Jack Cookie Master, I don't think they should play with girls, man. On a biological standpoint, a physio- physiological, just going to be bigger, faster, stronger. It's true. It's, it's a fact, guys. You know, and listen, men and women, women can be equal. That's fine. But in some of these circumstances, it, they are truly not, you know, and that's the problem. 
Um, my high school just won their sectional football championship. Our middle linebacker is a girl, not trans, but a woman playing with the boys. Hey, listen, if a woman wants to play with the boys, I got no problem with that. I've seen some really, really good female athletes out there. You know, that's not an issue, man. If they, they, they can play and they're, they're willing to take the hit and stuff like that, especially in football, then you know what? Let them. You know, especially in football, there's not a girls and guys team. So they can't just go out for a girls team. Like a girls basketball is a girls team, right? softball they can play that you know baseball and softball are a little bit different too now the way the ball is and stuff so you know if females want to they think they can do that then go hell ahead man hey listen i'm all for equality but it's when people aren't equal that we have problems around that playing field it's cheating to a certain extent you know what i'm saying all right i have bb pro alex open what's up dude i hope that i get to see you soon man hope all is well learning to live santos 87 000. what's going on texas t and gosh, 70, 78, 90. All right, guys. Listen, I'm going to talk about one more topic and then I got to end it because I got to go see my son. They're playing right now. And he's in center field. I can see him right now. All right. So the last one, cancel culture. We were talking about it. This is kind of crazy. They're trying to cancel the new Cinderella, uh, Snow White ride, excuse me, at, in, uh, in, in Disney in California. The reason, are you guys ready for the reason? Is because it's sexual assault that the prince kissed you know, Snow White to wake her up because she didn't give her approval. She didn't say it was okay. Now, I can kind of see, you know, okay, so Disney films, when you're an adult, because when you're a kid, you don't think about things like that. I mean, not, I don't know now because of all the things that are going on and the way things are, kids see a lot, lot more than they ever did. But when we were growing up, and I'm 40, when we were growing up and we watched these movies, we didn't think about the back line or the underlying things that were happening or saying we, you know they, they had a good you know storyline and we were happy and we're singing along and watching this uh, happy movie whatever it was but at this point like I think it's going a little bit too far and I think uh, Disney's going to cave and they're going to take down the ride or they're going to at least um, adapt to whatever this you know these people are, are, are calling for at that point but I don't know man where does it stop you know where does it start where does it stop I mean it's already started I don't know when it's going to stop or where it's going to stop. So at that point, we all need to be strong out there, you know, especially as older people. And I, I put myself in that category as older. If you're over 35, you're older, man. You're getting there. You're at middle age. You're getting older. So, you know, I'm sure you guys grew up the same way I did to a certain extent uh, and a lot of the same morals and ethics. So at that point, I think it's something that we've lost out there. I think, you know, the Internet and these people out there have just gone crazy. And people will find something wrong with anything. All right. So I love you guys. I appreciate you guys all tuning in. We got a ton of events coming up. Um, so at that point, just you know, keep it locked to social media. There's so many on there that I can't even go through right now. Um, but next week is a big one for us. I'll mention that. So next week, uh, May 15th, we've got New York Pro uh, here in Tampa. And Tampa's uh, up and coming city. If you guys have not been here, it's the best. But uh, we've got New York Pro here, and we are the exclusive HRT medical weight loss company that's going to be there. So we're going to be there, pass out a ton of goodies for you guys, free giveaways. So if you guys are in the area, come check it out. If you guys can't make it, you guys are in the area, come out and check us out at Water um, for the Tampa Swim Week, which Tight Medical Center is going to have at least 10 fashions in. I've designed certain things for our girls and some of our athlete guys, and they're going to look awesome out there. If you guys can't make it, don't worry. Keep it locked to YouTube or our social medias. And I'll have the videos on there for you guys to check out. You guys are going to love them. I promise you. These are always great shows. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. I appreciate all the support and your condolences. Thank you, guys. Uh, it's been a tough day, man. But uh, I really appreciate you guys. you guys. You guys drive me and motivate me more than you would ever know. So I'll see you guys next Tuesday for another Titan Talk Tuesday. Don't forget. Tight net time with me and Rachel Daniels is going to be tomorrow. So you females out there, if you guys have girlfriends or wives that want to know about some of these different things, tune in or have them tune in. Friday, tight lifestyle with Big Drew. We'll be talking about all kinds of topics. Me and Drew always chop it up. Um, I might be virtual for that thing because I might have a funeral to go to, but I will be there. Don't worry about it. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys. Have a great rest of your Tuesday. It's beautiful, man, because tomorrow is the middle of the week and it's already hump day. So have a good one. I'll see you guys tomorrow with Titan at Time with Rachel Daniels. If not, I'll see you next Tuesday for Titan Talk Tuesday at 6 p.m. Later, guys.